So now that we're doing some implant planning, we need a sectional model that we can use to align the, the model to the DICOM. So here we go, we add a slice, threshold, and perhaps we set the threshold a little bit more. So we can, we can barely see the bone over here. Let's add a little bit more like that and perhaps even even a little bit more like that and apply and then show in 3D. All right, that's looking a bit better. Scissors and erase what's on the outside. Remember always to click on none before you move it. Okay, and then after that we're going to segment the, the um, sinus cavities. So I'm going to hide that one, add a new segment, threshold value. This time around we're going to go other way. to highlight the black. Like that, that's what I want to see. And this, sh this would be the tongue, I suppose. Okay. Yep, so we can get to see the sinus area. So what we're going to do this time around is we're going to select this entire region and then cut out what's on the outside. Okay, so what just happened is I should have applied it. So we're going to go back to threshold and apply the threshold. And then we're going to go to the scissors. And then we're going to cut this out. So let's take it like this. So here we're working in combination with arrays inside or and arrays outside until we have the sinus cavity perfectly done. I'd like to reduce the model a little bit because we don't want to work with such large models in Blender. And this is the perfect way of doing it. So let us fast forward. Okay, we're going to export these into Blender. The one I'm going to call Sinus. And the other one I'm going to call Maxilla. Export the one. Make sure you choose the file that you're exporting to. And then export. And the other one as well. And that's it, we can, we can save this and then we can go to Blender to do our implant planning.